Today we're going to use Ted, a beautiful quarter horse. We can see a couple of saddle irritations and saddle fitting damages, such as white hair. We see a stress line here and a holding line. And um, what I like to show you today is how you can help him and how you can check your own saddles if it fits. So let's start with a nine point check. Step one, balance. Okay, so the first thing what I like to do is start with the balance. So our best part is take the saddle pad off, take the irons off, go to your horse and put the saddle on the withers and slide it right back behind the shoulder blade. A little test for horses who are mutton withers is wherever the end of the mane is goes straight down, that's the edge of the shoulder blade. So one more time, if you put that saddle on, you slide that dot right behind that point, then you're behind the shoulder blade. That's your starting point. You're looking for the balance first. A good indication on a dressage saddle that the candle should be a little higher from top to candle, and a little thing that rolls like a golf ball or a piece of chalk, you want to make sure that that piece sits somewhat in the middle, parallel to the ground. If this chalk rolls too far forward, the candle is too high, chalk rolls forward. If the saddle is too low in the back, chalk rolls back, and it's very hard for the horse or for you to balance yourself properly. Okay, now that we know how to look for that the saddle sits balanced on the horse, let's talk a little bit what would happen if the balance is off. Let's say the saddle is too high in the back or too low in the front, the pressure would go all the way into the shoulder and it's pinching very hard on the side of the withers and what happens to the rider is I won't fall forward so what I do, I do lean back and my lower disc gets a lot of problem and in order to help myself I then lift my leg and I get into a chair seat. So I'm very uncomfortable position for the rider and very uncomfortable for the horse. What would happen to the other option when the saddle would be too high in the front or too low in the back all the weight will go over the last two floating ribs, a lot of pressure into the back, very hard for the horse to bring his back up, and again for the rider, the leg will go up because I feel I fall back, and now I need to sit over my leg, with, and I ride with rolled shoulders forward. Okay, what's the advantage for the saddle to be balanced? Well, for the horse, the weight of the rider gets distributed over a large area, it doesn't get shoved forward into the shoulder or into the loin. And most so important for the rider itself, when I'm standing, I'm standing over my feet and I have four curves in my back, which are my shock observers. If I'm sitting on the saddle and I have my weight on my seat bones, I can now keep my posture as I'm standing, except I'm sitting now on my seat bones on a balanced saddle. I can sit back, lean forward, without my lower legs or upper legs swing back and forth. So an advantage for the horse and the rider if the saddle is balanced 